hi grandma. I just wanted to wish you a happy birthday and give you a little surprise. Um, I know this year has been really rough and you were looking forward to being able to see all of us for the holidays. Um, but before I tell you the surprise, I want you to know how much I love you and how much everyone in the family loves you and looks up to you. Um, you are the glue that holds all of us together and um, we are all here because of you. Uh, well, you and Grandpa. But anyways, um, I didn't want to see you miss out on being able to see your family for your birthday. So we put this together for you. I really hope that you enjoy it and know that we all miss you and love you dearly. Happy birthday and enjoy. Happy birthday, Aunt Hank. I'm thinking of some memories that I had when I was growing up about you, and one of my favorites is the... Um, doll cakes that you fixed on my birthday with the doll sticking out and the big dress underneath. I, I thought they were beautiful and you were so talented and you were. And um, that then when you'd bring all the kids, you and Uncle Buddy would bring the kids down to the farm and we'd play all day. Um, I love all your kids. You did good raising every one of them and that made my childhood happier. And so also, I remember uh, when my dad was in the nursing home for so long down at, I think it was Harrisonville when we'd go to visit, every time I would walk into his room, he'd call me Hazel. He thought I was you. And I was honored to be, um, that he thought you and I resembled each other. But, uh, and also, I thought you were the most beautiful aunt I had, <laughs> have. <laughs> and still are and um, I hope this is a great birthday for you and I hope I get to see you soon I love you Aunt Hank and I hope you have many more Hey, Grandma, just wanted to wish you a happy birthday. So sorry that we can't all be together because of the COVID situation. Um, but I guess we should all be considering our blessings in life that um, outside of it kind of poo-pooing our Christmas plans and not being able to see you on your birthday, it hasn't really affected us in any other way. So we should all be thankful for that. Um, love you. Wanted to, like I said, wish you a happy birthday. And also some of my got some fond memories of Pomme de Terre um, at the trailer you guys had down there and sitting out on the patio with fire going uh, with you and Grandpa and just with the family. Um, those are some fond memories. Um, thank you for creating those memories, Grandma, that will always be with me. Love you, and we'll see you soon. Bye. Happy birthday, Mom. I have many treasured memories of spending time with you. Uh, one of my favorites was when we were kids and you'd take us to Nellie Don because we knew we were going to get some new clothes that you would make. And um, I loved going through the giant bins of buttons to try to pick out four that matched or six that matched. Um, one of my other favorite memories is if I had a bad dream or didn't feel well at night, uh, you would come in to comfort me, and you always smelled like uh, Avon face cream, Vitamoist, I believe it was. And to this day, when I smell Vitamoist face cream, I get a rush of comforting feelings. Uh, it really triggers that memory of you. I remember this um, traveling with you has always been a pleasure and uh, lovely that we get to share our adventures with you uh, the four sisters uh, granddaughters and and you uh, you always bring fun to the party and you're you're just a joy to be with 
I wish you health, happiness, many more years to spend with us. Uh, you are a treasure in my life. You are the classiest woman I know. I love you. Happy birthday, Mama. Happy birthday, Grandma. Mwah. They love you. I love you. <laughs> Happy birthday, Hazel Grandma. I love you. Hi, Grandma. I just wanted to wish you a happy birthday from Nick, Caitlin, Madeline, and myself. I will forever cherish memories of being little and staying the night with you. We would go garage sailing, play piano, and you taught me how to sew and to crochet. But my favorite memories are those of our Halstead Girls European adventures. Those are for the books. You have raised five strong, independent children who set examples for the rest of us every day. You are a true matriarch. You have such a kind and accepting soul, which the world needs more of these days. I love how much you love your family, and I hope you know that we love you just as much. I am waiting for the day to be able to give you a great big hug. I will forever make you oatmeal rolls. I hope you have a fantastic day. And I hope you know how much you are loved by all of us. Have a happy birthday, Grandma. Love you. Well, hello there, Grandma Halstead. This is Derek here. I just wanted to wish you a happy, uh, healthy 96th birthday. Um, I miss you. Uh, missing everybody during this pandemic. I hope we can get together soon. I should have the shot, uh, hopefully by the end of the year. Um, but anyways, just coming to you from my kitchen here about 6 in the morning, getting ready for work. I just wanted to wish you... A happy birthday, and uh, I hope we can be together soon. Bye! Hi, Grandma Hazel. Chad McGiff here. We just wanted to say happy birthday. We really miss you this year. We've had lots of fun memories over the years, myself as a kid, and now my kids. Every year we look forward to it. Two. <laughs> okay, you're ready then. Yes. All right. Hello, Mama. Happy birthday. Um, just want to wish you a happy birthday today. And um, what a blessing it's been to have you this long. All of us are that we can have your your spirit, your faith, your wit, and just all your sage advice. Um, some of the you had given us, I think we all have uh, kept this and it's served us right through the years. And it's one thing is just to never worry until you have to worry. And then if you do worry, just give it to God. So I thank you for, that's probably the thing that served me the best. And, um, and just, you know, and to thank you for being a good nurse and a 
when I was in the hospital for so long and taking care of me, you know, you're, you can grow up, but you're always your mama's little girl. So I was, it was just, but every time you walked in that hospital room when I was in the hospital for so long and you just um, listened to all the doctors and wrote it all down and filled Ronnie in when he came in, I just, it was just, uh, it was just soothing and a blessing to have you there when I went through all that. And then the, the fun times were all the times we've traveled. I've been very blessed to have you as a travel partner, and I know all of us girls appreciate that. And um, to, to have that time and to have the money, I feel blessed that I was able to be all a part of that and share that with you. And you're always ready to pack your suitcase and go, and I'm glad you've been able to and that we've shared that with you um, from uh, London to and especially the Rhine River cruise um, just um, you know just spending the time with you and funny moments like with the toothpaste and and I survived mm-hmm. it and didn't have, to have my leg amputated and so that's kind of up there with the uh, swimsuit story so um, had lots of good times on our trips and um, I know this has been a tough year for you but we're all here in spirit and with love for you. And we're always, we're a tight family and we've survived all this. And um, so I just want to wish you many more years, mama. And uh, Ronnie wants to say a few words and I love you lots. I hope you have many more. And if you have many more, that they're all perfect health and you can enjoy many more years. Love you. Yeah, I, I also want to wish you a happy birthday, Hazel. I uh, mm-hmm. want you to know I'm sure, uh, you know, enjoyed knowing you and you being there for her, my wife, Kathy, and for me, too. And I uh, enjoyed all the times we've had together. And uh, I enjoyed Bud and, uh, and Estel, and I uh, just... Uh, want you to know uh, uh, I enjoy the family and I uh, appreciate uh, all you've done for Kathy and me and uh, it just uh, it don't seem uh, we just really enjoy having you up here you and Susie uh, so anyhow happy birthday and many more and I'm going to uh, let you go now, I guess. Goodbye. Bye, Mama. Bye-bye. <laughs> Happy birthday, Aunt Hank. Just wanted to stop in and tell you have a great day. Hope you have a super 2021 much better than 2020. I hear some other people, some of my favorite people, people to tell you happy birthday. Hi, Grandma. I wanted to wish you a happy birthday. This is my video take three. Obviously, I can't get through it without some tears, but this time I'm going to make it through because there's nothing to be sad about. I miss you, but we're going to be together. We're all going to be together soon. We're going to share so many hugs and so many kisses, and we're just going to say, thank gosh and screw the social distancing. We're going to get as close as possible. We made it through 2020. And soon this will all be over with. Thank you for everything that you have done for me. Thank you for the family unit that you and Grandpa have created. We're a strong unit. And we're an amazing group. I love you. You're our glue. You will always be our glue. Your impact on my life. I love you. Thank you. 
and happy birthday. Hey, Grandma. We miss you. We love you. And we wanted to wish you a happy birthday. We'll be all together soon. Happy birthday. We love you. We love you. Bye. Ready? Happy, Happy birthday, birthday great-grandma. Great we love you. We hope you have a good day. You blow a kiss? <laughs> Happy, Happy birthday. birthday. We love you. Love you. Love you. <laughs> Hi, it's Lila and Daphne. We love you, Greg. I'm a Hazel. We're gonna wish you happy birthday. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Grandma. Happy birthday to you. We love you. Happy 96. Hi, great grandma, it's me, Kylie. I just wanted to wish you a very happy birthday and tell you that I love you and I miss you so much. I hope you are doing well. And I am sorry that we all cannot gather and be there for you on your birthday, but we're just sending you love through these videos. So, um, you know, I just really started thinking this year whenever we didn't gather on Christmas Eve, just all of the memories that I have had from, you know, these Christmas Eve events. And I just, it's really special to me. And I just really appreciate that time of year because it's just the time that I get to gather with everybody and talk to you and talk to, you know, everybody else. And it's just, you know, I really miss it this year. So I just always have like wonderful fond memories of the Christmas Eve events and, um, I just really missed it this year. So I love you again. I hope you're doing well. Have a fabulous, fabulous birthday. Um, I hope we all get to gather soon and I love you. Goodbye. Happy birthday, mom. Happy birthday. We just wanted to wish you a very special 96th birthday. Um, I know all of us can't get together. We're gonna try to come down and have dinner with you. Hopefully that's going to happen, but the snow may interfere. But um, you've been a rock steady woman throughout this entire family's life, and we are so proud to have you as the leader and the strongest one in our family. You have definitely raised some very strong, independent women. Here's where you're supposed to, yeah, see, Jerry agrees. <laughs> very hard headed, but. I tell you what, we uh, come out strong and are always going to be on top because of you, everything you've taught us to be. So we love you. Love you. And we definitely miss seeing you. Um, so screw COVID and happy 96th birthday, Mom. We love you. Happy birthday. Love you. Grandma, happy birthday to you. Lily says happy birthday. Can you tell her happy birthday? Happy birthday. And then great grandma, this is your your new great great grandbaby, Andy. She's a little hard to see because she's just sleeping. We love you. Happy birthday.